Hey, so today I decided to become a crip. Now look, side note now, everybody can't just become no crip like in one day. You get what I'm saying? Like it was a process, you feel me? I knew niggas for a long time. They wanted to make sure they knew me for a certain amount of time. They wanted to make sure I was trustworthy, things like that. But I was just getting out of middle school. I, I think I was starting, starting high school. You get what I'm saying? Me and my mama and my sister, we just so happy. We from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, you know, born and raised. We just so happy to move to a crip neighborhood in the city. You feel me? So not only was it just a crip neighborhood, but this was like they trapped. You get me? Like we 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 moved in with some other people. They needed help. My mama needed help at the time. You know, so we just did the thing to get together. You know what I mean? So we moved in with them. They already had their apartment situation going, and they was letting these crip niggas trap out their apartment. You feel me? I'm just getting out of high school. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, I done seen shit like this before, but never not so up close and personal, not where I lay my head at, you feel me? Well, I mean, my mama had her being back in the day, but when I was young, you know, she kept all that, like, away from us, you know what I'm saying? We ain't really, Jenkins used to knock on our door and shit, but, you know, she kind of tried to hide that shit from us. But, yeah, back to the story. So, yeah, we move into this predominantly crip neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And I get to know all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? We, we doing shit together. You know, I'm building my truck. So I decide, hey, you know, I want in, you feel me? I want parts of this shit. Mind you, my sister, my sister, she know all these niggas too, you feel me? She don't, she told them niggas. She said, listen, I see y'all hanging with my brother. I know my brother hanging with y'all, you know what I mean? But if I find out he fucking with y'all like that, we fighting, you feel me? She, she said that to all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? We fighting, you know what I mean? And, and my sister, she wasn't nothing to play with back in the day. You know, she was... She was wild, you know, she was, a, she was not wild in the sense of, like, hoish, but wild in the sense of, like, she'll punch you in your shit. She'll punch a man in his shit, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, so back to the story. Bad forward, bad forward. The day I decided to become a crew, I'm like, fuck it, you feel me? Um, let's do it, you know what I mean? So, um, the niggas who was in control of everything at that moment, they like, I, right, you know, we've been waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? You've been rocking with us for a minute. So this what you got to do. <laughs> so look, man, I promise you this shit took about a day long. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't even going to lie. You know, we down here in Atlanta too, so they probably put a little more on it. You feel me? But, man, that shit took a day long, dog. I had to fight one nigga. Then I had to put some more niggas down. Then I had to get jumped. And then I had to go jump on some more niggas. Some a, a rival game, you know what I'm saying? Like man, listen, I was I was being initiated from the early afternoon to the midnight. You feel me? So first task, I had to get in with um with with one of the little niggas that was that was he was like the wildest wildest nigga in the in the in the set. You feel me? So I had to get on with that nigga. You know what I mean? We getting it in. So I get a couple licks. He get a couple licks. I right, it's over with. Next thing. All right, now, maybe an hour or two later, I got to put some more niggas down. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that want to be a part. You know, I want to be some type of whatever. You feel me? So, do that. It's about three of them niggas. You know what I mean? We get it in like that. It's, it's about what? Yeah, it's, it's three of us on each one of them. You know what I mean? So, for a certain amount of time. So, we get it in. You feel me? A couple hours later... They like, I. Right. <laughs> you feel me? You got to stand in this circle. We finna get it in again. You feel me? Just me, though. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, bet. You feel me? Do, 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 do. We get it in again. All right. My last top off the night, dog. Um, it was a rival set. They actually stayed damn near across the street from the complex that we stayed in. These niggas had a lot, a lot of beefing going on. You know what I mean? Nigga was getting shot kill all type of shit, you feel me? Back then, you know, it's shit. In the name of banging, you know what I mean? But and I don't and you know what? It it hit Atlanta when it when that crib shit came, when 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 games came to Atlanta, period, it hit Atlanta hard. You feel me? It hit Atlanta hard. Cause before all that game banging shit, 
we had clicks and shit. So it was already set up in a way where, you know, this is how we wanted to rock. You feel me? So when games came down there, I guess it seemed more official. You know what I mean? But back to the story. So <laughs> uh, we had to go to the rival sex neighborhood, you know, and basically catch them slipping. You know what I mean? They be out there. Whoever we catch, we catch them. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we go out there. And um, we rolled around for about 10, 15 minutes. And we seen a whole group of them niggas. And it went down, you feel me? We ain't, ain't nobody get killed, ain't nobody get shot or no shit like that, you feel me? But we for sure hopped out. It, and it was a lot of them. It was probably about three, four of us. It was about 10 of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? 10, maybe 12 of them niggas, you feel me? We hopped out on them niggas and we got it thumping. A lot of them niggas even ran, dawg. That shit, that shit threw me out. That one I knew I was on the right, on the right side. <laughs> you feel me? Cause a lot of them niggas ran, shout But the ones we did catch, you know, we we beat them pretty bad and and we kept it pushing. You feel me? After that, everybody fucked with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Not only did they fuck with a nigga because you know I was trustworthy, but they fucked with a nigga because you know I handled my business the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? With I probably had a couple scratches on me because, you know, I was literally fighting the whole day. But <clears throat> for the most part, man, I was the littlest nigga in the set, dog. I'm, only, I'm like 5'9", 5'10", right now. Back then, I was probably like 4 feet even, if that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, I wasn't no midget, but I was probably about 4 feet even for real. You know what I'm saying? Out there hitting with the big niggas, you know what I mean? And holding my own, you feel me? But, man, I got home that night. My sister was up, waiting on me, dog. I, I don't know if she was waiting on me, but she was up. She had already heard what happened, and dog, I, 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 I had to hear my mouth. It was like, it was like, I think she even cried about it. You feel me? I felt so bad because it was like, damn, dog, did I, did I choose to, did, did I choose right? <laughs> you feel me? But you know, because it was always me and my sister growing up. You know what I mean? And then. I basically opened myself up to a whole new world of people, a whole new world of rules and all this extra shit. You feel me? Just I just brought a whole bunch of extra shit to my life. But yeah, dog, <laughs> she ended up cussing everybody out in the end. You feel me? But it was like, shit, they told her, like, I did what I wanted to do. You feel me? I This is what I wanted to do. I'm a, I'm a, I wasn't no grown ass man, but I was old enough to make my own decisions. So she had to respect that. You know what I mean? But <laughs> ever since then, just by, based off the way I handled my business, everybody respected me. You know, I mean, I did a lot of more other shit, you know, after that. But for the most part, you know, that day and how I stuck it in, stuck it out, handled my business and was knocking with these older niggas. Yeah, these niggas fuck with, they, 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 all, they fuck with me at, for, forever after that. You know what I'm saying? But. That was the day I decided to become a crip, dog. It was a long, strenuous day. And then, mind you, the reason why it was late afternoon, because I was going to school. I was the only nigga in school. I was the only nigga in, in the city that was, that was going to school. You know what I'm saying? And, and niggas promoted that, you feel me? They wanted me to go to school and all this and all that. So, you know, that's another reason why I respected them niggas. And that's another reason why I felt comfortable in the beginning to be a part of, uh, of the shit, you feel me? But... Hell yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Um, I'm going to give y'all something later, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I got some more shit I want to tell y'all. But yeah, run this one up, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, and let me know what y'all want to hear next, too. I got some ideas for myself, but y'all let me know what y'all want to hear. 100.